Matthew chapter 12. So good to be with you this morning. I want to begin reading this morning in this chapter, Matthew chapter 12, beginning at verse 22. Much of our application this morning is going to take place between verses 33 through 37. So if you have some time, I, I would encourage you to spend some time with some of these other topics. We just don't have the time in this form to get into some of these things. But listen to verse 22. It says that a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute was brought to Jesus, and he healed him. So at the mute man spoke and saw all the crowds were amazed and were saying, this man cannot be the son of David, can he? But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, this man cast out demons only by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. Knowing their thought, Jesus said to them, a kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and any city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he's divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? If by Beelzebub cast out demons, by whom does your sons cast them out? For this reason, they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can you anyone enter the strong man's house and carry off his property and first buy it's a strong man? Then he will plunder his house. He who is not with me is against me, and who does not gather with me scatters. Therefore, I say to you, any sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven people, but blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him. Even in this age or the age to come. Verse 33, either make a tree good and its fruit good or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you being evil speak what is good? For the mouth speaks out of that which fills the heart. The good man brings out of his good treasure what is good. The evil man brings out of his evil treasure what is evil. But I tell you that every careless word that people speak, they shall give an accounting for it in the day of judgment. For by your words, you will be justified. And by your words, you will be condemned. Obviously, much we could talk about. We could talk about how the Pharisees are being rebuked here for their ridiculous argument that Jesus was casting out demons um, by the power of, of, of Satan. And just what a ridiculous argument that is. And Jesus uh, exposes their idiocy when it comes to this. And, and certainly, as we can see, verses 30 and 31, um, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit uh, being God, deity, the one um, giving us, the, giving the apostles the word that was ultimately revealed to us, the will of God, Jesus's will, as Jesus promised in John 14 and John 16, the Holy Spirit would come and, and it would guide them into all truth to um, to do that, to, 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 to speak, um, to blaspheme the Holy Spirit and its work. Um, there's no forgiveness by way of doing that in the sense that you're um, speaking against the very thing that saves you. But in verse 33, he reminds us, the heading in my Bible says, words reveal character. And that is so true. Listen, what a man speaks is ultimately a reflection of his heart. And we need to remember that. Our words matter. What we say is a reflection of our heart. And understand that the Lord knows. And on the day of judgment, we're going to give account of the words that we have chosen to use. And by our words, he says here, we're either going to be justified or we're going to be condemned. So a couple of things. Fill your heart with good things, with God things. And you will speak good things, God things. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, Father, for this reminder, we are most thankful. Father, help us to guard our hearts, to understand, Father, that what goes in will ultimately come out. Oftentimes, Father, in our speech. Father, help us to be honest with ourselves. To examine ourselves in light of your will. To truly listen to the words that people choose to use. Understanding is a reflection of who they are, who we are. Thank you again, Father, for this reminder. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.